Hello everyone and welcome to another game of Squirrels Baseball. We are in Cincinnati to see who can win this series. Cincinnati took the first one. We won yesterday in extras. Or extra, I guess. Only one extra inning. Also recording this late night for me. Uh, nearly 10 o'clock here as I sit here and record. Normally I record this right after school, but I had to bring my daughter to the doctor, unfortunately, during that time, and then my other daughter had to coach her soccer team, so just now getting to this, but it will still be uh, April 19th, so we're not late. Get a look at Great American Ballpark. This is a ballpark I have been to, though it's been a long time now. Jordan Tata is going to start things off here for the Reds. I do believe we saw him in the first series, though I don't remember how he did against us. Kester in the box to lead things off. First pitch in there for a strike on the outside. ground ball that does get through the infield leadoff single brings Marvin to the plate batting left-handed average sitting at 230 which is perfectly fine for him first pitch was in there for a strike second pitch swung on and missed 0 oh and 2 swing and a miss strike 3 I do have to apologize, my voice is probably going to be cracking a little more than usual because I was, you know, yelling out coaching for a whole soccer game already today. Chief comes up with the base hit into center field to put runners on first and second. Only one out, Terry at the plate. Puts this one up the middle, it's going to get through for a hit. Kester turns third, comes on home, and he scores the first run of the game. Squirrels take the early lead. Frank with a chance to add on to it. Looks at strike one on the inside. Hits this one right to Phillips. That should be two, and it is. Ends the inning. Squirrels do plate one. Norris Hopper to lead things off for the Reds. Frank didn't hit that ball badly, but it was so hard right to Phillips that I don't think he had a choice but to turn a double play. You can see the squirrels with the normal defensive lineup. Polly on the mound. I think he missed a start too. So only his third start so far. One and one the count to start off to Hopper. Swing and a miss makes it one and two. grounds this one to first Terry picks it up almost right on the bag one down shall at the plate As that pitch goes inside that pitch is outside knuckleball missing it's something you live with when you throw a knuckleball gets a call on a fastball in the outside corner This one fouled away. Two and two. Pops this one up. It looks like Chief is going to field it. He and Joey standing right on top of each other, but Chief comes away with the out, brings Derek Lee to the plate. Two down, nobody on base. First pitch called a strike. Pops this one up. It looks like Polly's going to go field it down the first baseline. And that ends the first inning. Squirrels lead one to nothing. Tom due up to lead off the second. Tom got that average back up over 400 after it briefly dipped under last game. Looks at strike one. This one up and in. Tata winds and delivers. A strike on the outside. One and two. Tom, ground ball to third, Encarnacion deals with that, one down. Zach at the plate now, had an excellent day, pumped that average all the way up to 269. Gets a hold of this one, but it's going to hook foul. Not 
quite sure if that would have had the juice if it stayed fair. I think it might have been off the wall. Puts that one in just about the same place. Might have hit that one a little bit deeper. I don't know. And then settles for a ground ball to third. Encarnacion had to wait on a hop, but still made the out. Two down. Joey at the plate. Looks at strike one. Hits this one towards third. This one gets through down the line. Two out. Whoa, Joey with too big of a turn there. He thankfully was able to get back. Now brings Polly to the plate with two outs. Runner on first. Polly does have, I think, one hit this year. If I remember right, I think it might have even been an RBI hit. One and one to count in this at bat. Grounds this one. Phillips will field it, throw it over, and that will end the top of the second. One to nothing squirrels. Adam Dunn due up in the bottom half of the second inning. Dunn with five home runs on the season, but hasn't gotten any in this series. Which I probably just jinxed. Starts off with a one and one count. Swing and a miss on a very hittable pitch. Polly has to feel good about that. Gets another swing and a miss. That's good for the first out. Encarnacion, who's had a busy day at third already, we're only in the second inning, takes his first at bat and he looks at a strike. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I could feel that sneeze coming on. Couldn't fight it off. Encarnacion with a one and two count. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, brings Brandon Phillips to the plate. Also been relatively busy over at second. Looks at strike one. Swings and misses, strike two. I'm not sure that would have been a strike. I think he chased one there. I think he chased another one. That's good for the third out. We will move into the third inning. Still a one to nothing Squirrels lead. Kester back up at the plate. All right, Tata starting off the third inning is going to give up a hit to Kester on the first pitch. Another leadoff single that led to a run in the first inning. Marvin, the lone strikeout victim so far for the Squirrels, looks at strike one. Swings and misses, 0 and 2. And there's a base hit into center field. Kester will stop at second. Puts runners on first and second for Chief as he's climbing his way back to 300. Looks at strike one. This one in the dirt. He lets it go. Pops this one up. Ross should have a play. And he does. One down. Brings Terry to the plate. Two on, one out. Looks at a fastball right down the middle. Line drive into center, but it's going to... Oh, Shao drops it. That should have been an out, and it is scored an error. Again, not badly hit by Terry, but it was right to Shao, and he drops it. That loads the bases for Frank with only one out. No runs in yet this inning. One and one the count. This one right to Encarnacion. Is he going to end the inning? He does. Saves the run. Jordan Tata wiggles out of a major jam. Getting a double play ball to third. Frank just barely out at first to end the inning. So the game stays at one to nothing. Feels like something that the Squirrels are really going to regret here later in the game. Brings David Ross to the plate. He looks at strike one. That fastball just off the plate. That will be the Reds' first hit of the day as David Ross singles into right field. That'll bring Thomas Perez to the plate. 
only batting a buck 49 so far this year, but that's a lot better than Van Hecken was batting for the Brewers. Over 100 points better. This could be a double play. Will Kester get it over there in time? No. They do get the out at second, though. So one down for Tata. Runner on first. He's not showing butt so far. So that first pitch is a bit wild. Second pitch called a strike. Here's the bunt. Pulls it back. The knuckleball goes into the dirt. I'm sure trying to bunt that knuckleball is not great. Fouls that bunt away. Will he swing here? It's looking like it. He does, and he comes up empty. Two down. Hopper at the plate. Still a runner on first. First pitch called a strike. Second pitch just inside. This pitch up and out. Two and one the count. There's a called strike. Two two. Swing and a miss. That's it for the third inning. Third of the way through. Squirrels leading one nothing. They're gonna send Tom up to the plate to open up the fourth inning. Tom, ground out in his first at bat, looks at strike one. Average now officially below 400 again. And that will not get it back. Phillips, with a great diving play up the middle, is able to get Tom out. I really thought that was a hit, but excellent play there by Phillips. Got to tip your cap. All right, Zach at the plate. That pitch just outside. Swing and a miss makes it one and one. Here's a ground ball to short. Perez throws over. Two down. Joey at the plate got a hit down the third baseline in his first at bat. Also with two outs if I recall correctly. Has a one and one count in this at bat. Let's that one go high. Swing and a miss makes it two and two. Tato winds and delivers a pitch in the dirt to fill the count. Two outs, nobody on. Pops this one foul, will make the seats. Swing and a miss, strike three. We go to the bottom of the fourth. The squirrel still clinging to that one run lead. Shao will lead things off for the Reds in the bottom half of the inning. Shao with a pop fly kind of behind third a little bit. If you remember, Chief and Joey were right on top of each other. 0-2 oh, the count in this at-bat. Swing and a miss, strike three. That is strikeout number six on the day for Polly as he goes through the second time in this Reds order. Looks at a strike. Oh, Derek Lee with a base hit into center field. Gives the Reds a base runner with only one out. Adam Dunn at the plate could very easily take the lead here if Polly is not careful. Has him down 0 and 2 at the moment though. Started to say that, then question that first pitch. If that was a strike or not? I couldn't remember. Swings and misses. That's strike three. Two down. Encarnacion up there to keep the inning going for Cincinnati. He's going to open up with a called strike. Swing and a miss to make it 0 and 2. And does not go chasing that change up. Oh, that knuckle ball gets away. That's going to move Derek Lee into scoring position. 2 and 2 the count. There's a called strike on a high fastball. That will end the fourth inning. Still one to nothing squirrels. We move into the fifth and Polly is going to lead off the inning. Yeah, 
He ground out in his first at bat. Watches the first pitch in the dirt. There's a called strike. This one does get through the middle, so there's a base hit for Polly. Kester, two for two on the day, has a runner on base with nobody out. As that pitch fouls away. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Grounds to third. Is this going to be a double play? No. Kester is able to beat that out. He is maybe the fastest guy on the team. It's either him or Sweeney. So one down, one on. Marvin at the plate. He hits this one right to Derek Lee. Marvin just able to beat that throw out to keep out of the double play. So again, we just trade runners. Brings Chief to the plate. Got a hit in his first at bat. Fouled out in his first, second at bat rather. Comes up with a hit into right center here. Marvin was moving with the pitch. Thought he might possibly try to score on that, but he stops at third. Chief settles for a double. So puts two runners into scoring position for Terry, but there are two outs. He opens up with a strike and then swings and misses to make it 0-2. Pops this one in the air. Perez should have plenty of time to get back there, and he does. Squirrels again leave a couple prominent base runners stranded. Still one to nothing at the halfway point. Brandon Phillips coming to the plate in the bottom half of the fifth. He struck out in his first at bat. Fouls this pitch away. And a pitch down and in. Swing and a miss makes it one and two. Called strike three. I actually don't really know what Phillips was looking for there. I'm guessing a knuckleball and he got a fastball. That'll bring David Ross to the plate. He has a hit already today. One of, I think, two Reds hits so far. Has an 0-2 hole at the moment. Pops this one up. Polly's going to field it himself. And he drops it. Mark that down, E1. Brings Thomas Perez to the plate. Now a runner on first. Each team with an error. The Squirrels couldn't convert that into a run earlier in the game. We'll see what the Reds do here. Polly comes back with a strikeout to get to two outs and the pitcher spot. So probably feeling pretty decent right now about his chances, but anybody with a bat in their hands is dangerous. Has a one and one count on Tata. Called strike on the knuckleball. Two and two. Called strike three. Polly gets out of the inning. We move into the sixth. Still one to nothing squirrels and Frank is going to lead things off. Frank with the chance to try to bust this game open instead grounded into his second double play of the day. Looks at strike one. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Gets a hold of this one. It's going to be deep and right at the base of the wall in left center. There's a double for Frank to lead off the inning. I didn't think it was a home run off his bat, but then it kind of kept carrying. It started to suck me in, but... Settles for a leadoff double. Nothing to sneeze at there. That will bring Tom to the plate. Nobody out. Runner in scoring position. Swings and misses at the first pitch. Watches a high fastball for strike two. Watches the exact same pitch for strike three. Up to Zach now to try to get this run in. Only one down. First pitch catches the inside corner. This one catches the outside. Oh, and to the count. And Zach looks at strike three. You're not going to score many runs if you don't swing the bat. Joey's going to get intentionally walked. Yeah, we do want Polly to get through this inning, so we'll 
Let him take a swing. He did get a hit in his last stab bat. So we'll see how this goes. He'll look at strike one. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Tata again wiggles out of a situation after the leadoff double. Still one to nothing as we go to the bottom of the sixth. Top of the order up for the Reds. Want Polly to go this one last inning. He has 11 strikeouts so far on the day. As Hopper looks at strike one. Is that pitch too high? Called strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. One down, Shao at the plate. He's popped out and struck out so far today. Take strike one to open this at bat. Looks at strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, Derek Lee, one for two so far today. He takes strike one. That knuckleball in the dirt. Polly comes back with a fastball that's too far inside. Two and one the count. Sticks with the fastball, gets a called strike. Two and two. Goes back to the knuckle, but can't get Derek Lee to chase. Full count, two outs, nobody on. And that's a walk. Runner on first for Adam Dunn, who has struck out in both at-bats today. There's a called strike on the outside. Swing and a miss to make it 0-2. And, and that fastball fouled away. Still 0-2. And this is going to be fouled away down the third baseline. Still 0-2. Ground ball to Kester. He's going to throw to first, and that will get out of the inning. I don't think you can ever say Pauly's scared to pitch to anybody. one to nothing as we move into the seventh inning. Squirrels ahead. Kester at the plate. He's two for three today. And he looks at strike one. Tate is still out there, hasn't shown any sign of tiring yet. Kester puts this into center field for his third base hit of the day. Marvin, one for three so far. Hits this one through the right side of the infield. Kester's going to stop at second. Two on, nobody out. Chief at the plate. Runners take off, hit and run, but Chief comes up empty. So that whiff is going to... Cost us a base runner as uh, Kester is thrown out at third. Still does leave a runner in scoring position. Only one out, though Chief is quickly down 0-2 now. As Tata does start to wipe his brow now. This one is going to stay fair. That should score one run. Here comes Marvin. RBI double for Chief as he seems to be out of his slump now. Will say, for me, that run actually is letting me breathe a little easier. That'll bring Terry to the plate. Only one out, still a runner in scoring position. He swings and misses at the first pitch. Oh, I don't think this one's coming back. I think that one just found the Ohio River. That's a two-run homer to make it 4 nothing, Squirrels. And suddenly Shibuya looks like he has the day off. That's going to be it for Tata. They're going to go with Joe Thatcher. All right, base is empty for Frank now. Got a double in his last at bat, nearly homered himself. Hit into two different double plays before that, so at least we can feel good he's not going to do that again. Has an 0-2 count. That slider goes just inside. This one just outside. 
Two and two the count. Hits this one, but foul. This one will get into left field for a base hit. Tom now at the plate. He is 0 for 3 today. Started the day hitting 404, is down to 382 now. Has an 0 and 2 count. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, Zach hitless today after he had an excellent day yesterday. So I guess it all averages out. Looks at strike one. Pops this one up. Thatcher looks to field it himself, and he does, and that will get us to the seventh inning stretch. The Squirrels now leading four to nothing. Edwin Encarnacion now at the plate. We are going to hand this game over to Nakai. Um, who made that last out? I think that was Zach. So that will bring Quentin into the game to go play right. If Nakai can go scoreless, he'll be rewarded with a second inning. Alright, first pitch from Nakai, fastball for a strike. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Called, strike three. One down, Phillips is struck out in both at-bats. That pitch goes outside. Two and 0 the count. There's a swing and a miss. Swing and a miss at a curveball in the dirt. Two and two. Phillips comes up empty again. Not having a good day at the plate. David Ross has gotten on base both times. Once with a solid single, once with an error. The ball back to that's in the solid hit category. Could be two. Frank getting it back in. Can Joey get that in time? Just. Oh, really thought we might get Ross there, but no such luck. Runner in scoring position with two outs. Perez now batting right-handed. Did not realize he was a switch hitter. Or if I did, I certainly forgot. He has an 0-2 count. Looks at strike three. That ends the seventh. Four to nothing squirrels lead, and they're going to start with Joey at the plate. Joey took an intentional walk in his last at bat, otherwise, one for two. This is going to be a solid hit into right field. One on for Quinton's first at bat. He's going to bat right handed. Has not hit a home run yet this year, though he's had pretty limited play. Has an 0-2 count at the moment. Swings and misses, strike three. Kester, three for four today. Uh-oh. Joey is picked off. Two down, base is empty now. And the first pitch to Kester is called a strike. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Called strike three. Uh, you can't really complain about Thatcher's work there after giving up a leadoff hit. 
And his spot in the order is going to come up in the bottom of the eighth inning. The Reds down four. Reds will go to the bench. And they're going to find Touch Eye. We'll see if he stays in the nine hole. Nakai going to go for his second inning. Struck out all three batters last inning. That changeup goes outside. Ground ball back to Nakai. Gets the out. No strikeout, but that is still four in a row. Hopper 0 for 3 today. That curveball in the dirt. This one ground to second. Kester throws it over. Two down. Shao 0 for 3 today with a couple strikeouts. And the other was a pop fly to third. Two, or one and one rather, the count. There's one and two. Grounds this one to short. Joey picks it up, throws it over, and that's it for the eighth. Four to nothing Squirrels lead as we move into the ninth. Marvin due up for the Squirrels. Touch Eye is actually going to come out of the game. I didn't catch the first name. I don't remember which Burton this is. Toriabla is going to come in to catch for the Reds. First pitch called a strike. Swing and a miss. Marvin down 0 and 2. Fouls this one away. Still 0 and 2. Hits this one back to Burton. Throws it over. One down. Chief, three for four today, has a couple doubles in his last two at bats. Did not see. Is he over 300? He is. He's 302 right at this particular moment. Has a one in one count in this particular moment. Looks at strike two. And fouls that pitch away to stay alive right off the tarp. This one might stay up. No, that's going to be in the gap. Another double for Chief. It's got the doubles machine going again. That's three doubles in a row. That is typically what he does. Problem is, whenever he has a good game, Terry doesn't and vice versa. Though Terry did blast a home run. I don't think it quite made the river, actually, but... Came very close in his last at bat. Has a one and one count in this at bat. That is going to get through into left field. Hit too hard to score Chief, though, so that's going to put runners on the corners. Only one out. Frank at the plate, hitting an even 300. Looks at strike one. Looks at strike two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down, it's up to Tom now. His average seems to be dropping pretty quick. He's lost over 25 points just in this game alone. Has a one and one count. Grounds this one to third, and Carnacion goes to first with it, and that will end the top of the ninth. The Reds need four. They're going to start off with Derek Lee, so right in the heart of the order. We are going to turn to Zap to try to mop this up. And the double switch means Martinez is going to come in and catch. Oh, excuse me, I had a big yawn. All right, Derek Lee walked in his last at bat, otherwise one for two. That pitch just inside. Swing and a miss, makes it one and one. Another swing and a miss, one and two. And that's gonna be another base hit for Derek Lee, right up the middle and it gets past Marvin. 
So that's a single for Derek Lee and then a two base error. Not great timing on Marvin. That's the third error in this game. Brings Adam Dunn to the plate. Now they need four, so that run doesn't mean a ton. So he fouls this pitch away. I think the Squirrels would probably happily take a sacrifice fly at this point. Instead, Zap gets a called strike three, even better. One down, Encarnacion up there to try to get the Reds off the schneid. First pitch goes inside. Well, that one too high. He's going to have to come into the zone, and he does so here. Encarnacion taking all the way. Swings and misses to make it two and two. Does not chase that one. Full count, runner on third, one out. And that will not be a base hit. Joey comes home with it, and the throw is in time. Don't know if we needed it, but it worked out. Two down, runner now on first. Brandon Phillips, who has struck out in every at-bat, I believe. Maybe he ground out in his last at-bat, but not a good day. He's going to foul out here, and that will end the ball game. Your final score today, Indianapolis Squirrels 4, Cincinnati Reds nothing. That one was a nail-biter for a while. Before we finally busted it open and uh, get a sixth or seventh inning. Must have been the seventh. Yep, that home run landed in the bullpen, not the river. Very close, though. And Terry, your player of the game. No problem with that. So that finishes up this series with the series with the Reds. Um, I want to say we have the Cardinals next, but maybe it's the uh, Dodgers before then. I double check the schedule real quick. Maybe should have done that before it started. Oh, actually, we got the Pirates in Pittsburgh, then the Dodgers, then the Cardinals. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for watching. If you'd like to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, feel very free. And we'll see you tomorrow in Pittsburgh.